Hi guys, tonight we're going to do jacket potatoes. So I've got two baking potatoes, quite a good size. We're going to cut a little cross in the top. So here are two I prepared earlier. So there's one across there, and then across there, and the same there, and the same there. And then we're going to use a little bit of, uh, we're going to brush them over all the way around and on the underside with a bit of olive oil so we do that and on the underside as well and then we put those into a preheated oven at 200 degrees centigrade for about 45 minutes to an hour on a baking tray just like this one I prepared earlier so we pop those in and as I say Pour them in for about 45 minutes to an hour and then you've got a meal these particular potatoes cost me about uh, 84p for the two of them so it's a pretty inexpensive meal and then tonight we'll have those with chili con carne which you can see on also one of my videos uh, but if uh, you subscribe to my channel and uh, like my channel then I'll give you more information on cheese and creamy corn fillings or stir-fry veg filling or a red bean chilli filling but uh, the simple one and the inexpensive one is baked beans with a bit of cheese on top and the jacket potato but sometimes people like the, uh, the, the coldness of maybe some um, coleslaw, something like that. So the varieties are endless, so just enjoy. So 200 degrees in the oven for about 45 minutes to an hour or in your favourite microwave. Uh, following the manufacturer's instructions for baked potatoes or jacket potatoes as we know them. These uh, jacket potatoes or baked potatoes have now been in the oven 200 degrees for 45 minutes. Just put the knife in and it goes through goes in quite easily, sharp knife. But I'm going to put them in just for another 10 or 15 minutes just to give them a little bit more cooking time. Alright these jacket potatoes have now been in the oven at 200 degrees for about an hour and so I've just used the knife to open up the cross in the middle and I'm now just going to give them a little bit of a sprinkling of uh, squiggly black pepper. I'm going to pop on about a teaspoon of butter or Marge, this is just the ordinary soft margarine that we're all familiar with. I'm just going to pop that in there, moisten it all up a bit. And then tonight I'm just going to add a little bit of chili con carne. Sorry, my hands are got to find the spoon in the roll, which I didn't get out earlier on. So this is our famous pub quality chilli recipe we're using tonight so I'm just going to have a couple of tablespoonfuls of that and there's a little bit of broccoli cooking on the back of the stove you can possibly hear it bubbling away in the background or if you don't want to use the uh, chilli you can use baked beans and cheese or just baked beans or just cheese there we are that makes a pretty substantial meal and as I say if you uh, enjoyed this uh, please do subscribe and uh, do let me know if you want to have information on the red bean chili filling or the cheese and creamy corn filling or stir fry veg filling but enjoy that's the main thing hurrah Hurrah! Whoopie-doo!